We need another 9-11 for who? you guys to... Ah, look at the hatred. Yeah. Look at the hatred swing. We need, we need a 9-11 for you guys, for who the Muslims. You want Muslims to be dead. We kill people for a living. That's what we do. We love... Got you. Do you believe what the IDF is doing is right? Right now? Yeah, right now. 100%. 100%. Why did the I'm IDF right. kill the people I'm in the I'm West Bank? Right. There's no Hamas there. there. There's no Hamas there. So free Israel. 100%, yeah. From what? October 7th, take it what back. What about October 6th, 5th, yeah. 4th? Brooklyn, New York, home to the largest populations of Jews in America. We hit the streets of New York City to confront these Jews and ask them the tough questions we've all been thinking about. Do you condemn Israel? That's what right. about all those years that you guys have been blowing up Gaza already? Do you support killing children? Islam is the solution, bro, my brother. Bro, not, You're trying I'm to extinct the Palestinians. And for every like and comment this video gets, I'll be donating one penny to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. So our journey begins with these two Jews. Let's see how they try to justify Israel's genocide on the Palestinians. So so let me ask you, with everything happening with Palestine and Israel, what are your so thoughts? Um, okay, so me as a Jew, yes. I have to defend my people, but both sides are wrong. So, so you have to defend them even if you no, feel like they're wrong? No, no, I think both this is how I look at it please if you're at home with your wife and kids yes and somebody comes to your house and breaks down your door true and kills your wife and your kids, yes you're gonna go retaliate sure right so haven't haven't Israelis and the IDF done that to well, Palestinians that home you know the difference between Zionism and Judaism tell me I'm asking you do you know yes Yes. yes, let me Z hear yours. Okay, so from my understanding, Zionism is this nationalistic identity that Jewish people have the state of Israel, and that is their land, and that is their state itself. From our understanding, it's a right-wing ideology because all Jews do not believe that. Other practicing Jews believe that Israel is a false state. It's not their land to return as you wait for your Messiah. But the Zionists, however, believe that that is your land, and that's you're going to take it no matter what. Whoever's in that land, you're going to eliminate them, and you're going to take your land as you rebuild your new temple. Again, that's what I know. It's a nice explanation, but that what am I missing? What do you think about this whole situation? I think that the same way they're equating Hamas with ISIS, they need to equate the IDF with ISIS too. Again, repeat that, please. So the same way they're trying to, okay, so the same way that they're trying to equate ISIS with Hamas, right? Those two things. I think that the IDF needs to be equated to ISIS as well. Why do you say that? Because it's a terrorist organization killing up to 11,000 people, civilians who were innocent. If you look at the history... Which is a war crime. What's the difference between Judaism and Zionism? The way you make it sound, it sounds like it's both together. I, I didn't say anything. So why don't you educate us? Educate us, educate my audience. What is it? I don't know. I, I you don't know honestly difference. don't know. I know okay. that we're living in Brooklyn, New York. That's okay. no one, right? What's, he asked the question that, what's the difference between Judaism and um, Zionism? What's your answer to that? Judaism is a religion. Yes. Which was, which was uh, started uh, by Abraham. Yes. And Zionism has nothing to do with the religion. It's a at all. nationality which has nothing to do at all with the religion. On the contrary, it's, it contradicts with the religion of Judaism. So Palestine, their occupation is illegal? The occupation of Palestine? Yes. yes. It's illegal. No right to it, yeah. You have no right to it. No. Between IDF and the Hamas terrorists, is the IDF is not going... Notice how you even use the word terrorist with Hamas, but you would never use terrorist with the word IDF. No, I, you know what, so I won't even use the word terrorist. It Good. you feel more comfortable. No, it's, you don't have to make me feel... It's just, it just exposes biases, no, it, that's why. It's not exposing biases. Talk let to me, me. Let me explain why. Because the Go difference ahead. between the IDF and Hamas okay. is Hamas hides behind innocent children and women. Okay. Okay? Innocent people. The IDF does not do The IDF does it openly. So as a practicing Jew yourself too, occupying that land is something that's completely wrong. And especially if they are infringing on, on different people who were living there until they came, they have no right to infringe on these people's rights. Gotcha. Uh, if I were to ask you, are you a Zionist, what would you say? Absolutely not. You can't be both. You can either yeah. be a Jew or a Zionist. What, what, what are you? Were you consider yourself a Jew or a Zionist? Jew. So you're not a Zionist? No. You're not a Zionist at all? No. So according to this right here, right, he's saying, and it makes sense as well too, that this land is supposed to be the Palestinians and is being illegally occupied. What would be your argument to that? If it, well, according to the Bible, it's correct. But according to the, today's days, for the Jewish people to exist, yeah. just to live, to yeah. exist in it, yeah. is not a crime in itself. Okay, so to get that land for the Jews to exist, they can exist without the land. Let me just make that clear. Number two, to get that land, they are willing to do whatever it takes to get that land. Do you agree with that? You were saying that the IDF is a terrorist. Yes, it should be labeled why, one. Why don't I believe that? 
because, because America has recognized no, Israel as a legitimate state. Or you wanted me to talk to you. Yes. So let me try to talk to you. Go ahead. Because, just like I said, every country is entitled to having their own military. Yes. Now, let me ask you a question. Let's say you're a leader or you live in a country yes. and they did to you what Hamas did to Israel. And what did Israel hold do to the Palestinians on, for all these years? So you can Before ask, Hamas. Hold on, Before you can, Hamas. You can so do you agree with for them to get that land, they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it? Do you agree in that method? I hear you their perspective about it i hear your perspective as well but if i agree that's as a fa as a father your father i'm assuming parents right so how would you think that if you are in gaza right now as a father who has children beautiful children and you know when we hear the sounds over here of planes passing they're just planes passing over there it's missiles and rockets being struck on them from the idea from israel my question to you as a father how would you feel if your children are over there right now i'd probably be burned alive yes you would by your own people by my own people yes by your people if the if if the idf and the israel does not keep continue to stop doing that then where's the humanity in that where does this where does this support in your religion that they can do this so answer my question with yes. all the respect if whichever country you live in at if you were living at a country you were part of the military not part of the military you're a citizen not a citizen okay. and the next door country to you the next door place or whatever did to you what Hamas did, what would your reaction be? You want me to hold accountable retaliation, but you don't want to hold accountable the first punch. Let's just say if I was there, would I come out alive or not? I don't know. You tell me. No, well, well, first and foremost, right, the evidence that they're bringing forth for all of those allegations are done against them. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying the numbers seem very inflated. But based on your what but, you're but but based upon oh, no oh, other oh, sources, oh, oh. it's one-on-one. Please, a, it's please. A one -on -one, please. Right? please, okay, it's a conversation. Okay, so you're saying is that if I would have been an Azza, I would have been killed by the Israeli people, correct? Yes. So how about I'm saying that if I would have been in Israel at that time at that event, I would have been killed by the Gazan. Yes, and before October seventh, you probably would have been killed anywhere in Gaza because they've been bombing that place on the West Bank before October seventh. They've been bombing it before in 2014 when Hamas didn't even exist. But that's an argument in itself. Yeah, but here's the point. Hamas is something that came about after all of the illegal occupation about it. People who are joining together, who want to be a radical militants, whatever you want to call them, to go against the movement of the IDF and in Israel. You have created them. That's like the Black Panthers here in America. The Black Panthers got created by the U.S. government who was, uh, you know, uh, being horrible towards the people of the blacks. So the Black Panthers was known as a terrorist group, as a radical group, as an extremist group. But the point is, is if I'm at home, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Go ahead. Right? If I'm at home and I see some other flipper from a building shooting a rocket at my house and his whole family's inside are innocent people. But what if I'm you're in his home? home. But what if you're in his home? If I'm in his... Yeah, so you've what, taken what, over his home. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yes. hold on. Now you're bringing the whole Palestine and Israel yes. conflict. Yeah, the it's not a conflict. That, that's, when someone that, lives there and you take over the land. Hold on, that's yes. a completely different subject. We can get into that too. No, but that's We're why not, Hamas came about. Because they're, throwing, freedom, they're fighting on, for the freedom of their the, people. The, the, Nelson Mandela was known as an extremist. It just depends on the world's view. If the world viewed Palestine as its own country and gave it its own military, that's a real war. But it's not a war when a whole country wants to attack them with tanks and missiles and just say that you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna call it a war that's not a war that's a massacre that's an ethnic cleansing if no, you're telling no, me no, about Hamas no. comes and do it you're not telling me about all the times no, the you guys problem, forced you them know, you know what's funny you know what to me the problem is is that you're, you're mixing up everything because we can okay. say the same thing about I can everything. say the same about you hold on hold on yeah. we can say we can say the same thing about every single country on this planet if you look at history okay. if you look at history okay every single country was taken from one another okay okay so you can't. So that means there were people who were always who, there. Who, yeah. Who, who? What's it called? Who owned Israel before the Jews? You had, yeah. you had Britain, and yeah. you had. The they were Ottoman. ruling. They were ruling. They were ruling, but the, they were ruling the, the people that was there. You had the Ottoman Empire. Sure. Right. And ruling the people and there on the land. Three from thousands yeah. of years ago, yeah. it was the Jewish people. No, the Jewish people. Hold on, hold on one second. If you're talking about the race of people over there, the Arab people who also yeah, happen to crazy. be Jewish, Christian, and I Muslim as well. Can, well, I. Well, I said that when two sides are fighting in okay. general, and there's war going on. Yes. Is it towards one hiding behind a human or 
or is basically both sides good exposed. is it is it is it one behind a uh, control room pressing buttons operating a ps5 controller to drop a drone or are you man-to-man -man standing in front of them hand-to-hand -hand combat are you air striking people from a thing or are you hiding behind civilians what's your answer to that look look if you get shown that israel is doing wrong are you willing to put your ego away and your nationalism away to acknowledge that what they're doing is nobody wrong? is innocent that's what I'm trying to True. tell you. No, 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 no. But there's some more guilty no, than the other. No, there's everybody has blood on their hands. But some have more than others, and there's more guilt on the others. If you're telling me you that you've been hitting me in my face all this time, and I finally turn around and smack you, and I get in trouble for smacking you, but the teacher doesn't take in context of all those times that you've been bullying me all these years, cut it out. It, no, no, but, but we have to be honest. It's con controversial. No, no, controversy is a word that you use to deflect so that we don't get to the part of the it's problem. Not, it's not it is, it is. Because yeah. if you're getting bullied for all those years and you finally turn around and slap them, if you slap we're, them, you're justified. We are, all are you not justified to slap someone we're all after all getting bullied after years? years? So, okay, so the IDF isn't going to do that and they're bombing wait, refugee wait. camps. Okay, so now we're going to specifics. 100%. You okay. have to. What are the specifics? The, the specifics is that IDF has the green light to bomb away on Gaza as much as they want to, no one's going to call a ceasefire. That's that's what the perspective is. Answer me this. Go ahead. Where are all those six Arab countries, yeah. your Muslim brothers, yes. not letting a single Palestinian in? They don't need in? to. Why do they what need do to mean? let them in? That's hold their on, land. Hold on, hold on, hold but that's their land. Why should they let well, you according, in? According, the moment you start letting them in, no, the moment you start letting them in, Jordan's always brother, let them in. Brother, let me, Egypt has let, let them in as well, too. But Palestine, SQ, Palestine, Palestinian people, if they start walking away from their land, that's exactly what Israel wants them to do. Hold on, hold on. Isn't that true? The world yes. recognizes Israel as its own country. Absolutely. Okay, if Absolutely. the world if and the, they don't recognize Palestine. Hold on, yeah. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. If the world didn't recognize Israel as its own country, then I'll be on your side. I'll be like, so, okay, 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 okay. Because because the world has agreed to something wrong, you want to say it's right. I didn't say, I didn't Absolutely. Say that. The perspective is that there were people living in that land that got pushed out to where you guys are trying to bomb more people, and you guys are bombing dense areas. Again, again, let's. let's you guys. You say, yes. You guys, yes, Israel. To me. Are you supporting the bombing of that land? If it is, then I am saying yes. Are you saying that I am Israel? Do you support the bombing that Israel is doing? So I'm going to ask you the question, the first question again. What's the location where we're standing right now? Yeah, but your heart and mind is still with Israel. Your and you're still supporting. Yes, my heart and mind is with the Palestinians. It is with them. So your heart and mind is with Israel who's bombing the Palestinians. If you have Palestine that's not recognized as its own country, right? You're saying it's a war. Well, how can you go to war that's with someone who's not a country or recognized? When you say war, it sounds like both people have tanks. It's an equal fight. It's not an equal fight, sir. It's not. Israel is bombing Palestine. Again, again, you're twisting my words. You are twisting my words. How? I just repeated your words back. So what did what did you say? If you're saying that there's a war, right? That means that. what are you saying? The world yes. recognizes Israel, that Israel as a country. Is, as a yes, country. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So just because yes. the world recognizes something wrong doesn't make it right. The world hasn't recognized Palestine because that's what they're doing. So that means they're not a country because the world didn't recognize them. Prior to that, they were recognized. There's always two opinions, but one can be right. If you look at the European opinion of America, the Native Americans were living here. They told their people that the Native Americans were savages. They came and they killed them, a genocide. And now in a few days, we have a gay called Thanksgiving for them. It's all about perspective. What, from the European perspective, they had the right to defend themselves? Or from the, from the Native American perspective, they had the right to defend themselves. So all of a sudden, the Black Panthers who comes up and rises in America, they're considered terrorists and radicals because they want to fight for the rights of black people? It's whoever is writing the history. Nine out of ten times, it's the imperialist, it's the colonialist, and it's, you know, the winners, the ones who win. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. There's 160 something countries on this planet, correct? Okay. Yeah. Right? The Jews have no state. The only okay. country they have is Israel. So take if so take it away from their land and, and use it yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold yes. on. Half of the countries yeah. are Muslim countries. Okay. Can't the Jews have one country that's no the problem. size of New York? Good. So give them Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Give them all of this. Since they've been persecuted. Okay. For the last 3,000 years. So now they're going to persecute come, come others? On, come on, so now you're going to pro promote no, a no, ethnic no, cleansing and a genocide no, and a holocaust keep, keep against running, the Palestinians? Keep running away from You the are running from the fact. I'm explaining to you. And I'm, I'm, and I'm debunking you know, what you're you know, saying. I hear your perspective. 
I'm not gonna deny your perspective. I'm not gonna disregard your perspective. Okay. But as long as I am not gonna be educated well enough to understand, as we say, both sides of the story, I'm not going to judge. As that's my personal. Okay. That makes, that's fair. That's on. fair. I'm not representing anybody. So you don't represent Israel at all. Just to be so we're fair. Absolutely so, not. not. No. I so. Said it in the first minute. So based upon your education, do you know? historically who was living in that land already before 1948 when the British gave this land um, without permission of Palestinians they just gave it to the Jews who were displaced from the Holocaust do you know if there were people living there already understandably that most of the Jewish people over here in Brooklyn New York are not educated at that point to understand about the war so when you want opinion over here in Brooklyn I don't think it's either going to be somebody from a Brooklyn, it's going to be somebody that is either in tuned in the news mm -hmm. or somebody that is from Israel. Okay. Part so, of so I think that we need to get some more people who are now educated. You, you know what, what I label a terrorist? What do you label? Somebody that does not care about civilian life. IDF! No, no, he said not. someone who no, doesn't no. care about civilians. You see what he keeps doing? What is it? Who doesn't care? He keeps changing the subject Go ahead. and cutting me off. Go ahead. Let me finish. Go ahead. The difference between the IDF Okay. Hamas. Go ahead. Right? It's one is recognized well, and the other you, one isn't. Why do you keep trying to... Because finish? I can feel your sentence for no, you. No, you can't. No, I can't. Can. You I can't. Can. Can. I can't. I just did. Not, I did because your rhetoric is still the same. No. What's the difference between what's the IDF and Hamas? Go ahead. What's the difference? So let me explain to you. Let me answer to you. But do not interrupt me. Do not interrupt me. The difference between Hamas and the IDF, okay, is the IDF is backed by a country. What do I mean by... Hold on. What do I mean by that? They're... A regular military, they don't go after innocent children, they don't go after, in, look, look, talk to me, don't talk to the camera. They I'm not allowed to say anything because I would cut you off a bro, bunch of times already. Don't, don't, they don't go after innocent don't, children? Bro, How much cap are you going to give me right see, now? You see, isn't lying you against Judaism, isn't lying against Judaism, is he lying, isn't lying against Judaism? buildings. Is lying against you. Innocent people. You're telling me the IDF is not killing innocent people. And they blame it on us. So wait, have the IDF not killed? Wait, 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 wait. So in the West Bank. So when the West Bank. In the West Bank. Why did the FBI. Why did the IDF kill the people in the West Bank? There's no Hamas there. There's no Hamas there. In Islam. We do not look at the Jew as something separate. We look at them as someone who are called the people of the book in Islam. We're someone who have in your religion. You are able, if you cannot find the temple, to pray in our mosques because we do not have idols, okay? We, our area is clean. So if you even wanted to pray one of your three prayers, sometime you could come to the mosque, no problem whatsoever. As we began to give him da'wah, things began to heat up. They even called the cops on us. But then, this guy shows up. I would love to. I would love to do that. I would love to. Why don't you join the IDF and stick up? I, I am part of the IDF. This is Captain Zion casually bragging about all the murders him and his people have done. The older Jews kill people. They, did you ever see? Gotcha. Hang out in any Jewish neighborhood. And gotcha. So why are you so proud of killing the Palestinian people? No, no, we're not killing the Palestinians. We kill everybody. We kill um, um, uh, Christians. You we guys kill killed prophets as well, too, in the past. We kill everybody. This guy was out of control. Let's see what Captain Zion has to say. Look at numbers in every Arab country, in every Arab place. Okay. They kill everybody they don't like. Okay, so you guys are doing the same thing. No, there. we're not. We're not doing the same so, thing. So, but don't the Palestinians live on that land? No. Weren't they already there? It's nonsense. No, we they gave don't. It back in 2005 or you gave back their land in 2005 because we thought we're saving them. We'd be nice to them. And they who told nothing. you all these? Don't lie in your from your religion, my friend. 2023 of those teenagers in the West Bank that got killed by the IDF. There's footage of them training with terrorists. Oh, we God. Saw I saw it with my own eyes. You saw it with your own eyes? I saw it. Oh, okay. I Wonderful. Yes, You're I a did. primary source then. Yes, Fantastic. I did. There yes. were 16 year old kids. There was a 14 year old kid. Yeah. There was a 17 year old it's, kid. It sounds like a like Zionist like, youth camp to me. It's, it's not a Zionist youth camp. Yeah, I've seen Zionist youth camps too. Again, let me, let me, you know, answer me this. Answer right. me this because you keep going in circles <laughs> with me. You're trying to make me look stupid. No, you're doing that yourself. They so, built well, they don't have any resources. Only you guys have done an apartheid. Only tunnels. You guys built those tunnels in El Shifa Hospital. What, what we built tunnels. You guys built those tunnels. Nice. Didn't nice. you? Where's the Didn't 260? You? Where are the what 200? about those 11,000 people We're, you killed? The difference between Hamas and the IDF is Hamas 
hides behind innocent kids and children. Says the media. The F, no. You get your information from. It's not. I don't get the information from the media. I Where do you get it from? I get it from my family. Yeah? I let's go on Snapchat right now and let's see all these people Israel I, stories right I, now. I, what bombs are raining on them? Yeah, They're in Tel Aviv right now doing the cha-cha, my man. Oh, They're in Tel Aviv bro. popping bottles and doing LGBT you stuff over there. Your country you needs keep, help. You keep Your country has been you liberalized. Yeah. Do you know that? You what are you doing about Israel's liberalization? Bro, you keep How are you going to save Israel? My guy, my guy. How are you going to save Israel when you have Stop LGBT flags in Israel? Do you support Stop the LGBT? Interrupting. Do you support that? Let somebody, your country is getting I ruined. Support gays? No, I don't support gays. Okay, then I why is this entering your country so openly? It, 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 why is your country going let straight let down right so now? Let me Islam is the solution, bro, my brother. Bro, it seems like Yoel is still stuck on loading. It, 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 so it was time to bid him farewell. Meanwhile, we have Captain Zion here fully expressing his Islamophobic views. Tell me where those hostages are. That's all we want to know. You guys are bombing them. You probably killed them already. We probably killed them. Yes. Give them back. Give them back dead or We what? try to give, give them, them back. back. Your government doesn't want them. Bulls your government's been lying to You're me. not giving back. Fake news all day long. What about the hostage what that you guys got back? And she was praising Hamas. She was praising What about all those why she was guys went in October? Why she was praising them? My question to you is this. When that, when that hostage came back to you, why did she praise them? My cousin why did she praise them? My cousins that you killed She was in shock. Yeah, your cousins. Yeah. What, what about my brothers and sisters that you killed before that? October 7th? What was the What about those years that you've been no, killing people before? You never killed anyone before then? No. What a liar. It's lying against Judaism. October 7th, take it what back. What about October 6th, 5th, yeah. 4th? What about yeah. those times when Hamas go didn't exist? Go, 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 back, to, go back to Gaza what about, and do whatever you hell do. We are, we are. Yeah, and we're going to take our land one, back. One That's what's going to happen. No problem, take it, we are. Take it we are. back. No problem. And whoever the Jal you guys are going to follow, this, the Jal is going to lead you to the hellfire. I'm Israel Chai. That's you right. are, you're Israel Chai. That's right. Got you. And we're Palestinian, we're from Palestine, my brother. Good, good. Go back to where you came from. Go we would love to. Where we would, 9 11. Where's your land? We, where's your 9 11? Not Israel. 9 11. Where did your ancestors come to? 9 11. Where did your ancestors come from? 9 11. Where did your ancestors come from? Poland? Look, this is a typical this is a typical move. When Moses asked you to go and fight for your land and took it, you guys cowardly said no. And now, because you got control rooms and bombs and missiles, you want to do that? You're a coward. You're a coward. We need another 9-11 for who? you guys to... Ah, look at the hatred. Yeah. Look at the hatred swing. We need, we need a 9-11 for you guys, for who the Muslims? You want Muslims to be dead? No. Oh, no. Hey, hey, be a man. Say it. Say you want Muslims dead. Say it. No. Uh, where's the Where's the heart? Come on, man. You Jews lies. Why lie? Jews lying? Why you Why Jew lying? You guys. Why you lying? Let, you guys don't let. Why you lying? Coexist. Why are you? No, 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 sir. The Jews and the Christians were coexisting already in that land before you guys came and slaughtered and them. Down. They were fine. They were coexisting. You guys are blowing up churches now too. American money, our tax dollars, Look, you're I mean, you're doing it. Let's really debate. Let's really debate. 9 11, really? who killed George who? George Bush. George Bush, very good. As long as you're going to believe yes. in this. And as long as you, well, that's the nonsense you believe in too, right? You're being programmed that IDF is some uh, heroic extra, extra. No, no, that's the no, same IDF, stuff. Bro, listen to me. Not your country's IDF, doing the IDF. same crimes that Hitler did. Not IDF. Your country's doing the same thing Hitler October did. October 7th. You keep going to October 7th. What right. about all those years that you guys have been blowing up Gaza already? What about all those years in the West Bank? I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't about. understand because that's where you get pushed. How old is so the So when you get pushed down, right, you got to wiggle your way out of it. I know one thing. There's 260 hostages that are not in town. That's one thing I Yeah, you guys probably blown them up and killed them. No problem. You bring why'd you, why'd you Why'd you do that? We did. We gave you the hostage. We did. You know what she said to you? What did she say? She said they treated me fantastic. This hostage said she treated me fantastic. Oh, wait. When the... Oh. So when, when the media was in front of you, when she was safe in Israel, and she's saying this, they're all shocked, like, yo, she's been treated like a VIP she client. 11,000 people, people you at a, at a in a matter of 40 days. Innocent in 40 people. days, you've killed 11,000 people. You guys make people. up numbers. You're making up numbers, sir. There you make up numbers. You festival. want this type of empathy and sympathy for you, when the we truth of the matter is, you guys right. are the killers. We don't is this what you teach your children? This Zionist brainwash? This Zionist brainwash? The Zionist camp? The Zionist camp? This is how you're going to raise your children? 
or scream? Which one do you want? Sir, to you're doing the screaming right now. Start, start this is. Start uh, I was debating. Probably. Okay, bottom this is how line. I do. Let's get the bottom. Bottom line. Bottom. Line. Okay. Kill all the Palestinians. October seventh. Bottom line. October Kill them all. October seventh. Bottom line. Bottom line. Kill them all. There was a fest. Kill them all. There was a. Kill them all. La ilaha illallah. It was clear that he was just stuck in his Zionist ways. But Alhamdulillah, as Captain Zion cowardly retreated, we spotted a woman in the crowd. Surely a mother wouldn't approve of the murder of innocent children. How are you? What did you say? I said everything should be good. Do you, do you support Israel doing this to the Palestinian? God should support us. Do you support? What? Do you support killing children? No. You don't believe that? So why do you support the Adam? Condemn Israel right now. Say you condemn Israel. I'm not saying. Say you condemn Israel right now. Say it. Ah, uh, don't lie. Don't lie. If your children were there, you would have a different tune. You have children. How would you want your children to be there? You're a mother. You're a mother. Your mother. Be honest. Your heart. God is watching you, my sister. God watches everything. He sees your heart. Don't think that your family can't be tested with this. Be honest. Don't be proud of what they're doing. If they're doing something wrong, you separate from the wrong. Who says something wrong? You don't believe Israel is doing something wrong? No, I'm not. Wow. That's, the, that's, that's your ego. That's your ego. That's your ego. If that's not the case, then you have a, your heart is rock solid. And I pray Allah guides your heart. That's very sad. That's very sad. SubhanAllah. I mean, come on. This is just disgraceful. But we still wanted to know why are these people so misinformed? I, I don't think you're gonna get like the answers you're looking for, you know. It's... What answers am I looking for? I, I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know. I just want to have a conversation with someone. These aren't the people that are looking to have a conversation with you. We're, why, we're why not? a very close, tight knit community. Because like these people here, not they, much is far. They don't even have cell phones. No way. Like somebody comes here now with like a camera, YouTube, they get all alarmed about so it. So why why don't they have cell phones? I see. That's my question. That's really I'm here. I want to know. Hey, you see, I got a cell phone. I'm not from the same sect as them. Okay. They have a different rabbi that tells them not to have internet and all these things. So really, you understand? You know, just outsiders coming around to cause really? harm in the community. Okay. That's okay. all. I mean, Subhanallah. Learning more about this is helping us understand why the hearts and minds of these people are so ignorant. And meanwhile, we managed to find an ex-Jew, and we wanted to learn more about his perspective. I used to be one of them, but now look, what happened? All tattoos. So wait, you're you're Jewish. Yeah, you so do you still consider yourself uh, Jewish? Half. Half. Gotcha. Why, why do you feel like you've separated yourself? It's different. I'm trying to change it. I'm trying to switch it up. Gotcha. So you were also doing the same thing. No phones, no cell phone, no internet, no nothing nope. like that. Right? Now I went back. Okay. But, but isn't that really dangerous because you allow the narrative to be controlled with whatever your superiors are giving you, but you can't do the research yourself? It's true. Right? Isn't that dangerous? Yes, it is. Form information? It is. It was clear that their hearts and minds were already made up. Appealing to them was pointless. Surely the Jewish youth can grant us some hope. Which is does does Israel have the right to defend? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Against who? Hamas, Palestinians. Okay. So so free Israel. Hundred percent. Yeah. From what? What should be free Israel from? From themselves. From from Gaza, from the whole thing. From Gaza. Happened. So free, so so basically Israelis were there already in their own country and these people came into the land and took it. They, they put them in, yeah? They put them in and they, so, they started the whole thing. Okay, okay, so 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 let me get this straight. So Israelis were living there already, Jews were already living there, and then all of a sudden recently these Arabs came and they just took over the land? Is that what happened? Do you understand that the land that people lived on already was people living there and then people took over the land that they were living. Are you aware of this? That's that's not what happened. So what happened? Tell me. Israel it was it was always it was always the Jewish peoples. Okay. Yeah, and now Palestine they're trying to take the, 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 the land. So so you're telling me that the Israelis or the Jewish people were already living there and these people Okay, no problem. So they were already living there and then these Arabs just came now to take it over? Just now. When did they come? I'm not sure, but I know they came before. They, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the first time happening. Now, mm -hmm. now it's already, you know, it's worldwide. So, people, you know? so let me ask you this. So the people on that land, right? The, the, the native people to that land, the people who like, like the native, you know how like we have Native Americans here? You understand that they were Jewish, Palestinian, Arabs on that land. Are you aware of this? Yeah. And they were, and they went as recognized to be a Palestinian, Arab, Jew. You understand this? A Palestinian Jew. They identified to be a Palestinian Jew. Are you aware of this? I never heard of it. I'll tell you what I know, yeah? It was the Gaza Strip. They pushed in about 9 million people, yeah? And then there was Israel. Why, where did they push them away from? 
From Israel, they wanted Ah, uh, so they were living in those lands already, and in 1948, they pushed them away. I guess so, I don't yes. know. Yes, and then when they pushed them away to a section, they pushed them away again in 1967. I'm, I don't know. Come on. You listen, listen, look, I'm look, 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 look. You, you're trying to tell me that. Come on. I say I don't know. You're so you don't know. So wait. Know. So are they not teaching you this, or do you not no, do your I'm research? I'm not interested in politics at all. I live. It's not about politics. If look, if I'm this is your coat and I took your coat off you and you're like, yo, bro, give me my coat back, and I'm like, nah, it's mine. No, I'll take it off you. And well, why would you? No, but I have the right to defend myself. No, because it's my belonging. Ah, oh, hold on a second. So it's it's because it's your belongings you have the right to defend yourself. So these Palestinians who belong on that land, who lived on that land, they're being attacked and they're taking the land away. Do they not have the right to defend their own land? So, so you've been seeing online and you see how Israel is doing to the Gaza Strip. 11,000 people killed. How does that make you feel? See what happened first though? What, what, what? you talk about October 7th? October 7th? But what about the before then? When? When they were already bombing Gaza and the West Bank prior to them, prior to them. There's no, for no reason they were bombing? My friend, so you see, see this, is, this is the thing. And I believe you're someone sincere. This is the land that people were living in and they still live in, okay? The idea of Israel, the idea of they've been killing people in the West Bank no prior to this to take the land. No, there is a reason. So they can put in illegal Jewish settlements there. What do you mean illegal Jewish settlement? They want to bring Jews and populate the land in that area and kill the people and kick them out. In Gaza, you're saying? In the West Bank and in Gaza. Uh, Come on. Listen, I don't want you to necessarily think from what they teach you. You got to think for yourself. What I know... Talk to me. They lived there, yeah, the Gaza. They lived happy and then there was Israel. Yeah, all of a sudden one day they came in and started killing civilians. Yeah? Listen, this is what they're, they're teaching them. This is what, Who taught you this? Who, who gave you this lesson? That's what I saw. No one gave me the lesson. That's so what I saw. Where did you happened. see? So, so what do you know about what's happening? Ask anyone. That's what happened. Okay. So, so wait. So, on that land before it was called Israel, what was it called? I don't know. You don't know at all. I don't know at all. So it was called Palestine. Let me give you a lesson on that. It was called Palestine. Okay. I don't believe it. I don't but wait. So you don't know, but yet you don't believe it. I don't, even if I don't know, I don't believe it either. If it's called. Palestine. So even if it, even if you don't know and you learn about it, you still wouldn't believe it. Hundred. I wouldn't. So you're willing to close your eyes on the truth? Yep. They had, they were, they had what they had, and then whenever they, they said it wasn't enough, you're trying to get. Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen, listen to me. If this is your, this is your, right? This is yours, right? Are you gonna share this with me? Nah. Why not? Cause it's mine. I paid. For what you mean it's yours? It's mine. Paid for. Says who? Says who? No, you got nothing. This is mine. Nah, nah, my boy, you're done. This is my board. I paid for that. No, you didn't. It's my board. I did not pay for it. You see? And this is the argument. This is exactly what Israel is doing to him. Because it had, you had a board, I just came and I took something that was yours. You felt a certain love for this that you weren't willing to let me go with the skateboard. Yes, it is. And guess what happens? The Palestinians are staying on their land. You guys want to send them to Egypt, to Jordan, to killing, the- They're killing the little kids, y'all. Who told you that? I saw it, videos. Bro. Okay, so, okay, okay. They were stabbing little kids. So now you're going to say that was obviously Hamas, right? That was Hamas. Hamas, Palestine, everybody. No, no, you're Creating the two together. Are you saying that that's the Hamas? same, y'all? Okay, listen. You're not. You're not. You're not educated on the matter. Listen to what I'm telling you, okay? Hamas is a freedom group of fighters who have emerged from Palestine because of the apartheid and the illegal occupation for 75 years. Listen to me. Listen to me. They are regular people who have formed a group to resist the occupation. That's who you're fighting. Civilians who have turned it, just like. Don't listen, want to to me. To listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah. Why wouldn't they want to do things when you've been stealing their land for over 75 years? Stealing they live there. there. You understand that they live there. Yeah. Your people, right? People of Moses, right? Moses, when he crossed the sea, right? Remember with Pharaoh freed you. Yeah. We believe that in Islam, by the way. We believe in Moses. We believe in the story. We believe in the stories of every of the struggle of the Israelites. We believe in that struggle, okay? When you guys crossed over that land, you guys arrogantly worshiped the calf. You guys know that? That's in your story. Yeah. Yes. The reason was, was because of arrogance and ego to deny the truth. You're denying the truth right now when you tell me that even if you find out that it was called Palestine before Israel, you will still choose to disbelieve in that. Israel, they belong to the Jewish people. Says, says who? Says God. Says God. Says God. Says, God. says it in the Bible. So, okay. God, he gave the Israel land gotcha. to the Jewish people. And do you know what happened? What do you mean, do you know what happened? So when Moses had freed you guys from Pharaoh, are you familiar with that? Yeah. And then you were told, instructed to go and fight the people in the land and take over your land. Are you aware of this? Yeah. Okay. And you know what you told Moses? What? You and your Lord go fight. We're not going to fight. Because from back then, 
You had a cowardice in you and you didn't want to fight for your land. That was your time and you know what you did after? That's not what do you know what God made you do after? What, what? Roam the earth for 40 years. Every day you would pass the point and you would come back to the same point every single day. 40 years. Are you aware of been eventually what happened? Oh, are, are that, you what happened? That? Israel was the Jewish. No, no, no. You guys were displaced. You guys went around. Some of you came into Israel and people were already living there. That land, that Palestine hey, itself. God, God told Moshe, God told Moshe, he told him that yeah. you can't go into Israel because he did. I forgot what he did. I don't know. I'm, I'm, Moshe didn't do anything. It was you guys who did a, it. You have to learn the Bible. You, know, you didn't learn the Bible. I know. No, I learned the you're Bible. Saying, you're saying what you, you heard. This no, 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 my friend. Facts written in the Torah. I don't okay. know what the Torah is. I know what the Torah is. Facts written in the Torah. That what does it say? I'm not, I'm not 100% clear with it. Okay. But it said I, Hash, Moshe did something. I forgot what he did. Mo Moshe did Hash, something. Hashem said that he can't go into Israel. I think that's what happened. I'm so you need to. So you, you need to do things. Facts. It's an opinion. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. He okay. Probably knows more than me. So when Moshe, when Moshe freed everyone over there, they crossed the Red Sea. You're familiar with that, yes? Yeah, he went. Yes. He from Pharaoh. He went upstairs. He went to the uh, mountain to get the ten commandments from God. For 40 days he was gone. When he came back, you know what he saw? Yeah. What he saw? You guys were worshiping a cow. Yeah. Yes, a cow. Okay, so your people already are already very difficult to explain things to, if you understand what I mean. That's the same thing that the people did with Moses when they disbelieved and they worshipped the calf. Do you not see the, the, the correlation? I don't understand the whole thing. You don't see the No, I'm, I'm too young. I'm too young. I don't you're too young. And you know what the sad part is, kid? It's not because you're too young. It's because your heart is being blinded. But inshallah, perhaps there's still some hope for this young man. You're saying Palestine, right? That's one-sided, bro. I'm, I'm honestly, I want is everybody, it? I want the whole world to be peace. I want them all to be together. Okay. Now, now so can, okay, so if I steal your board, Hold on, no, 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 yes, because it was yours. Not to steal. Because you're not allowed to. So if I still take it, can me and you ever have peace? I'm saying. Can you and I ever have peace if I steal it? Really? You think yeah, so? why not? How can you have peace with an oppressor? Because what if I take something next? You're a nice guy, yo. You're a nice guy. Okay, I, I, so I take this skateboard with a smile. Take it with a smile. That's Make yes, I'm a nice Yo, guy. Doesn't make well, next I'm going to take your your Nike tech, right? Next I'm going to take your sneakers if I want them. Why? Because if you let an oppressor do it once, you're going to let him do it again. When a woman is in a domestic abuse relationship, there is no peace until that oppressor leaves. I want you to know that, my friend. This is an oppressor in a land already. So you got to know these things. And if your education comes from your Jewish school, well, that's all you're going to have. Listen, yo. It's been a real one. Check out the channel. It's called Way of Life SQ. Right, you're a real yo. one. W's for you for having conversations. I respect that. All right, yo. Go Israel. Yeah? Go Israel, like where? Where should they go? Away from Palestine, I agree. Yo, you don't see it's f***ed up what Palestine did, bro? They came But what about what they were doing to Palestinians no, before? No, no, no. I'm Does it not matter now. before? Why are you talking about now? That's like this. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, let me. Why? Yo, you took my okay. from like, you took my from six years ago? I see you in the street. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, yo, I'm not gonna fight you for that. I don't listen, even know what listen, happened, listen, listen, listen. Not only did we, ah. Uh, listen what to happened. what you're saying. You don't know what happened. You know what happened though? Uh, let me explain. Past what, what Palestine did Yes, sir. Come on, listen to me. Listen to me. We're in school together. And you're a little bigger than me, right? And whatever, I'm, I'm there, I'm saying, I'm a little small, you know? And you just keep doing things to me. You keep messing with me. You see, messing with me, right? Keep up. No, okay, that's messed up. Okay, but whatever. I tell the teacher, teacher, this guy just keeps doing it. They don't want to listen to me. You know how teachers are sometimes, whatever. One day, I just get fed up. I'm having a bad day, whatever the case might be. I get fed up. I turn around, I get up on my seat, and I just slap the living daylights out of you. I'm done. Years of oppression, years of bullying. Bro, you've been bullying me from first grade. Now we're in 11th grade together. I'm done taking your crap. Now all of a sudden the teacher wants to see me. Ah, that's cute. How dare you hit him? Go straight to the principal's office. That is what Hamas is, my friend. You Hamas is you seeing the retaliation of the slap back. What you're choosing to I'm ignore is the years of oppression that Israel have done to the Palestinian people. And that's because you're uneducated. I have one question. You, you think what Hamas did is right? Do you believe what the IDF is doing is right? Right now? Yeah, right now. 100%. 100%. You're willing to say 11,000 people is right, but yet you want me to condemn Hamas What's for what? 11,000 people, yo. What's 11,000 people? Yo, you're saying it's right if I go right now in, in this You're saying which 11,000 people? What is that what your, is that what your, you, what your TikTok tells you? In your, in your, in your, in, in your, hold on one second. In your Jewish TikTok for you page, is that what they're telling you? You're not even on TikTok? I would at least appreciate if you were on TikTok, you could get some more information. Yo, if someone, if someone. At least on TikTok. Yo, Hamas, 
what they did. Yo, TikTok would teach you better than your school. I don't school. understand. Yo, I don't. TikTok would teach you better than your school. I really. That, you think so? I think so. There's bro. something wrong with you. Bro. Nah, bro. If you think I think so. Kid. If you if you think what the IDF is doing right now, right now, they're giving right them now. warnings. They're giving them warnings. Oh really? I'm gonna bomb you right now. I'm a bomb you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving us a bomb. Thank you for the warning, yo. Thank you for the warning. Let me let me. Can you listen? Thank you. I'm gonna give you a warning before I slap the crap out of you. Not the fact that they're slapping me, even though they're more powerful than me, and they've always been slapping me. But the first time I want to fight when's back, always, I'm wrong. When's always slapping. When, when? Do you understand what happened in 1948? Let me hear. Do you understand what happened in 1967? Hear. Do you understand how Israel is separated? There's West Jerusalem and there's East Jerusalem. No, this is the product of your education. You go to Yeshua, whatever his school is. You need to educate them a little bit more. Out of nowhere, guys, this ex-Muslim wannabe jumps into our conversation. I'm a Muslim too. You are. I am. Oh, really? I, Let's, I might have to vet you on. Wait that. a second. I might have to vet you. Any Muslim? Let's make it. Clear. I might have to vet you. Hamas is against the Prophet. Hamas. Who says who? Hamas says is who? against Muslims. IDF is against Judaism. Against, I, I, Hamas is against Arabs. IDF is and against Hamas uh, is children against, and women. Hamas is against Muslims. Hamas is against Arabs. Says who? Hamas is a non-practicing Muslim. Muslim. Are you a practicing Muslim? Well, what's the difference? It does make a difference. You ask a practicing Jew versus a non-practicing Jew, those are the same thing. A practicing Jew versus a non-practicing Jew are the same thing. No, you just walked away from it. SubhanAllah, what I've learned from these interactions is that while many are being brainwashed to believe this false sense of reality, the programming for this ignorance begins at a very young age. So continue to protest and never stop giving da'wah because you never know how Allah can change someone's heart. So let me ask you this now. Do you actually have a faith now? Do you still believe in the Creator? Like, what's your story? I do believe Him. Got you. But God is only one. God is only one. Only one. Right? So let me ask you this. You believe in the stories of Moses then? Yes. Well, look, we believe that Moses, Abraham, yeah. Isaac, Ishmael, Jesus, all of them were messengers of God, right? They yeah. came with the same message. Then he sent the last and final prophet, Prophet Muhammad. You've heard of this name before. Yes. Right? Do you believe or have any idea if the Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Do you know anything of that? No. You don't? No. Has anyone ever given you a Quran before? No. Here, take this. This is my gift to you, my friend. We'll talk one day together again. This is a Quran, a gift from me to you. I give it to one of my friends. No, it. it's for you. It's for you in your heart. One day. No. One day. One day. Keep it in your heart, my brother. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings.